Hello fellow paranormalers and welcome to this channel. Um, a discussion today, another discussion, is about originality. What I find, and I'm sure that lots of other paranormalers, right, you know, proper paranormalers are probably finding the same thing, and it's not just in the paranormal world, but it's it's pretty much in every avenue of life. I have touched on this before, but it's something I'm seeing more and more and more of, and it, it kind of drives me up the wall, really. Um, people lack originality. For the last 15 years, or, or possibly even slightly longer, certainly since the 90s, uh, and the 90s were f kind of full of a lot of copy copycats but <clears throat> really I would say it's focused more in the last 15 years where people have lost originality they've lost creativity there are very few artists you know musicians singers and such like that actually produce original creative work that is not copied from someone else you know, I could, I could probably count on, you know, ten that I know of that are actually original. And the other 90, let's say, are, are, are regurgitating what's already been done. Uh, they just put their spin on it and, and resell it or represent it as being their unique version of something that's already been done. And I'm finding the same in the paranormal, um, you know, bringing it back to sort of the paranormal, esoteric, you know, Wiccan, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's rife everywhere. Um, and I think it's such a shame that no one is, is being original in anything. We have masters and leaders who paved the way in radio sweep technology, in, in you know, religious belief systems and, and, and such like, various, lot, lot, lots of different ones. Um, and that's all very fine, and if you like, they produce the manual, you know, the book, the manual, the Bible, whatever it is. They've produced that, and everyone goes, wow, that's amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing. And then you will get people who will never, ever deviate from that manual. So, you know, people who say that a certain path, of a religious path, for instance, you know, is absolutely down to the, the last word and sentence is they're not going to deviate and they believe that that's the way that things should, should be. Um, and then you get breakaway people who have taken that book or manual, whatever it is, I'm talking generically, and then they put their own spin on it. So it's kind of 90% of what that manual is saying, and then the other 10% is their spin, their version of it, because they didn't like certain things, or they didn't agree with certain things and that. <clears throat> and I see that a lot. It really, it really is rife, you know, and it's the same in, in pretty much everywhere you go. In, in, I'm talking sort of, you know, the creative side. People putting their heart and soul into something that comes from them and isn't being copied by someone else. Um, I will mention again, <laughs> and I keep going on about this, the TV shows. You know, we had the first TV show that was allowed, if you like, on TV to be broadcast. And now, because everyone wants to try and copy this, they regurgitate the format, the process, the, you know, the, the way it's been done, and they put their own little spin on it. And most of the time, people are not even doing that. They are just blatantly copying what other people have done. And it's the same that goes along with these uh, guided tours and, and these, you know, 
paranormal events, if you like, that they keep saying are investigations and they're not, because what they do is they get 20 people all wandering around a, you know, a known, if you like, haunted property, and they're all just doing the same thing. They're just copying, you know, it's a, it's a whole entertainment thing. And there are so many of them now. I mean, it's easy to do, isn't it? You know, you, you, you can go through your local county and you can find out all the so-called haunted and whatever sites around because that information is readily available on the internet. And, um, you know, you just go there and say, oh, you know, how much would you charge if we wanted to come here and, and stay overnight, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, and then at the end of the day, they're just making money out of it. That's all they're doing, and they just brand it with paranormal and ghost and whatever, and, and unfortunately people will follow that. Um, which I find is such a shame, because they're not really doing any investigation, they're not developing, they're not creating something unique that's to them. They're not doing something to find out about what it is about the paranormal, what is it about talking to spirits. Um, and entities that, that, you know, why are we fascinated with this? It's just an entertainment. Oh, let's go out for the night. You know, let's go out for the night and spend the night in a thingy because, oh, you know, this program on TV does that and we can do the same. And, like, it's just, to me, an utter waste of time. Time and effort and an opportunity missed. I know I'm probably being generalised, but... This is what I'm seeing more and more and more of, and I think it's such a shame. I really do think it's a shame that we've now live in a society where it's okay to just keep copying other stuff and regurgitating other people's hard work. What other people have done and the research that they've done is being regurgitated or watered down or, you know, it's just being taken and recycled over and over and over and over again. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm being hypercritical. It, doesn't, it, it kind of irritates me, but I'm not getting particularly upset about it because I've, I've got a, a core of people that I work with who are creative, that do their own thing. And we just collectively bring all of our information together and share our experiences. That, to me, is really what, if you like, the paranormal side that most people think is paranormal and doing sessions is all about. Everyone is different. Everyone communicates differently. I mean, for crying out loud, if, if we were all the same, that would be the most boring thing in the world. Um, there wouldn't be any point to anything. <clears throat> so, you know, I, th I think it's... I think it is a shame that people are not original in what they're doing. They're not, they're not taking that book or that manual or that Bible and thinking, okay, I understand the concept. I understand where this person was coming from. Yes, we have all the research and development done. You know, what else can I develop? What, how else can I develop it? You know, take that information on board and then create something yourself, you know? And this is what knowledge sharing and such like is about. Somebody paves the way, they put the hard work in, they pave the way and they document, you know, what it is they've done, what their research has accomplished and the results. And then they put that out into the world for people to learn from, but not copy, <laughs> you know. Do, do something original. Do create your own research and development. Play around with your own skills and abilities and apply somebody else's knowledge and create your own. Don't just regurgitate. Don't just copy what other people are doing. Because you're, you're, no one ever learns from that kind of thing. You know, it's not, it's not beneficial to anyone really just regurgitating the same thing over and over again. This is one part of the reason why I think eventually what is going to happen is in the paranormal, you know, give it give it a little bit more time and I think people will become bored. 
you know, closets are going to become filled with spirit boxes and equipment and such like because, you know, there's a new thing out there. And, and I think people like me, um, oh, this is interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know quite where I'm going here. Being diverted. Um, so yeah, and I, I think what will, uh, what will eventually happen is that people like myself will um, still be going in you know twenty years time, and um, uh, you know and, and all the and all these people who've been regurgitating stuff all the time will have disappeared, um, you know because there's a new fad in or there's something else that they want to do and you know. And I think it's it's such a shame. It's a, such a shame and a waste of resources in a way that this is what people have become. You know, am I being hypercritical or am I being you know? I, I don't think so. I think anyone who's been involved in the paranormal world for a length of time will probably say exactly the same thing. That you know. It's tiring to just keep seeing people regurgitate the same stuff over and over and over again without anything unique or any real purpose to what they're doing. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. And um, thanks very much for watching. And I shall see you again soon in another video.